Hi everyone, I am Dr. Jagdish K.H., Consultant uh, Physician, Internal Medicine, Sarjapur Manipal Hospital. So I will be discussing about today about the diabetes. So what do you mean by diabetes? Diabetes is a array of dysfunctions which leads to hyperglycemia, which can be reduced insulin secretion, it can be resistant to the insulin or excessive or inappropriate secretion of the glucagon which leads to the hyperglycemia. What are the symptoms of uh, sugar or diabetes or hyperglycemia? It can be excessive urination, it can be excessive intake of water, excessive intake of food or weight loss or blurring of vision or any paresthesia or a tingling sensation or numbness in the uh, extremities or recurrent fungal infections. How do you diagnose the diabetes? Anything fasting sugar more than 126 uh, or uh, anything uh, postprandial more than 200 it is uh, or HbA1c more than 6.5 can be diagnosed as a diabetes or random sugar if it is more than 200 with above mentioned symptoms it can be diagnosed it as a diabetes. The patients who are already symptomatic who are symptoms whatever I mentioned above whoever is the symptomatic we need to screen for them or asymptomatic patients who are above 35 to 40 years or is there any relative who have a first degree relative who have a diabetes or the pay, pay, who are overweight the BP more than 140 by 90 the cholesterol like a HDL less than 35 or triglyceride more than 250 or in the females who have a history of PCOD or the patients who had a gestational diabetes or the patient who given a birth for the previous birth for more than 4 kgs what are the uh, treatment uh, risk or the treatment goals uh, goal for the diabetes it's mainly the reduce the risk of the microvascular and the macrovascular complications what do you mean by microvascular microvascular it includes the retinopathy or a neuropathy or a nephropathy macrovascular it includes a heart attack or a heart failure or a stroke or peripheral vascular disease which can leads to the uh, uh, amputation and morbidity and all so treatment wise so treatment, if you take a treatment, they, as we know, they, there are so many oral hypoglycemic drugs which are there, which can be given to the individual depending on the sugars and depending on the comorbidities, depending on the blood test, depending on that, we can start on that. And insulin, insulin is depends on the person who, uh, who are not controlled with the hypo, uh, oral hypoglycemic drugs. So other than this is the main thing is the lifestyle modification. In lifestyle modification, there are few steps need to be taken care. That is one in important is the diabetic education and diet, exercise, weight reduction and smoking cessation and monitoring of the sugars and monitoring of the complications. In the diet, you have to reduce the macronutrients, which, uh, which is the main factor for the cause of the hyperglycemia, which needs to be reduced. Reducing the glucose and the fat will definitely reduce the sugar, the hyperglycemia. And exercises as ADA recommends, it is 150 minutes of moderate intensity of workout per week or 30 minutes per day per or uh, into 5 days per week. And if you reduce the weight almost of 5 to 10 percent, it can reduce your uh, in sugars by almost 20 to 30 milligram per deciliter. And you, what is the use of exercises? Exercises will increases the insulin sensitivity and reduces the and increases the usage of the glucose. So that will reduces the blood glucose in our body. How to monitor? Monitor the blood glucose can be done for the intensive means the work patients who are on insulin or patients who are uh, want to control tight control or anything we have to monitor regularly like uh, every pre meals we have to monitor here and there we can monitor post meals also and how to prevent the complications so for preventing the complications we have to check bp regularly if the bp is more than 140 by 90 we have to start on a medication for that and we have to check cholesterol regularly for that we if the cholesterol which is more we have to start for the statins on that if there is any uh, cholesterol uh, smoking uh, we have to reduce the smoking uh, this one and every year at least fundus examination need to be done and we can do the uh, C for any retinopathy. If there is any grade one and grade two retinopathy, we can do, uh, we can uh, control the uh, sugars regularly with a tight control of the sugars. 
we can do it if there is a grade 2 and grade uh, grade 3 and grade 4 if it is there it is better to start with a laser treatment and along with the controlling of the sugars with this all uh, the patients who are having a symptomatic and all who are uh, having a risk please screen for the diabetes and please if you have any problem or anything please come to the hospital and screen for the diabetes thank you